Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of oil and natural gas. Uh, I'll give you my financial opinion and we're gonna jump right in to crude oil. So here's crude oil. Uh, again, we've got the little bloody nose. That's usually a continuation pattern where we could potentially head higher. But um, we've been bouncing sideways. We've broken that that downtrend to the upside. We'll see if the buyers step in and what happens. Um, natural gas, surprisingly, had a very nice day today. Uh, but I, I, we'll see where this thing heads almost as if, let me put a, you know, we've, we're starting to create kind of a, a pattern here. I don't really have two bottoming things, but there's your trend line that it's pulling back with. We'll see if that trend line holds or if we break higher. Uh, XOP, yeah, you know me. Sorry, I just have to do that. This could head lower, a, a little bit lower. And we've got stronger selling pressure here. Our bounce higher wasn't as high, and we have a bearish engulfing, so usually that might head a little bit lower. Uh, before going on up again we are above all of the breakouts so the, so the buyers didn't come in here and push it higher the sellers came in and kind of sold it off with the overall market and the overall market did sell off i will release a video on the overall market showing you what's going on uh, sm energy we do have some strong selling pressure looks like the buyers tried pushing up we didn't get that strong closing we could go sideways to slightly lower uh, in the short term uh, CDV right on support. We'll see if that support holds or if we have a little bit larger pullback. Uh, crew energy moving sideways with the overall markets. Uh, CPE getting a little bit more selling pressure. We'll see what happens next trading session. This could head a little bit lower in the short, short term. Uh, we've got Athabasca oil. Again, we are above support. Everything looks okay. And we could drift. You know, we could we could drift a little bit lower like that maybe create some sort of pattern like that and then break higher we've got recaf getting a little bit of life into it um getting bit up a little bit today still looks good uh, crescent point energy just moving sideways at the moment we've got northern oil and gas again we've got a little bit of selling pressure i think we're going to bounce around here uh so yeah actually that looks about right uh in, inverted head and shoulders there <laughs> that i drew not not what we have uh, looking at GTE, Grand Tier Energy moving sideways, Tellurian slightly lower. We could maybe head a little bit lower, but sideways I think is probable. Pe Pedevco is right at support. Uh, Oasis getting a little bit of selling pressure. We'll see if what the buyers if the buyers step back in next trading session. Uh, this does have a little bit of an an ask of going, moving on up. We could head a little bit lower in CRK. I'm hoping we head lower. I want to buy more of it. Uh, SD. Uh, again, we've got we tried moving higher today. A little bit of selling pressure. Uh, we could pull back a little bit. REI right at support underneath it still looks good. Uh, Surge Energy getting a little bit of a reversal candlestick today. We could head a little bit lower in the short term. Uh, Tamarack moving sideways, bloody nose. Uh, that's a continuation pattern. If you wanted to know, uh, Crescent Energy moving sideways above the support area. It's bouncing back and forth. Vermilion Energy a little bit lower today. This could head lower just by, I've seen this pattern before. So I would say it's probably heading a little bit lower. Uh, Meg Energy chopping sideways. Uh, oil Services getting a little bit of a sell-off. We could head a little bit lower in oil services in the very short term. TTI still has that kind of look where we could bounce, bounce around, I think, a little bit lower. Rig could potentially head a little bit lower right in this area would be a good buying opportunity. We've got Pump. Pump, yeah, it's moving sideways, but again, if the overall sector gets a little bit of a sell-off, we could see it sell off with it. EXTN, no big buying pressure days. I still think it sideways to a little bit lower. Uh, Valeris, I think we may have had a little bit lower just by looking at some of these uh, candlesticks up there. It's, it's hard. I'm not going to describe every single candlestick, guys. Uh, it's mainly bearish engulfings and the, and the power and the moves of the candlesticks. Um, MRM's going sideways, Tidewater, uh, and, and what I'm seeing is this big sell-off here. The big sell-off here, and then there's no buying pressure to really push it back higher, so this could kind of roll over a little bit uh, before moving on up. Uh, NEX, sideways. Uh, we've got KLXE. So, so this one, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, we've got this kind of wedge pattern. It broke out, 
and we're contracting down and we'll see where this thing heads next. Uh, CHX getting a little bit more selling pressure today. We're back within the pattern. Uh, WHD getting more selling pressure. We'll see if the support line holds. Uh, nine moving sideways. OII still getting the selling pressure. Uh, we got to wait for that to turn around. Uh, Noble Energy, nice little bloody nose there. Still looks good. Helix Energy Solutions broke to the upside, did a false breakout and kind of broke down here. Uh, still getting a little bit of selling pressure. CGG buying pressure behind that one looks good. Petrofax looking excellent. I do like that one a lot. Uh, McCoy Global getting up, getting up there. We'll see. Just kind of bouncing sideways on this resistance line. And then Diamond Offshore getting the bloody nose today. That's a continuation pattern to the upside. Still looking good. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of coal companies that look like they're mixed to slightly lower, just like the overall, uh, I should say. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind that the overall markets are selling off. Uh, they're getting pretty rough out there. It looks like they're breaking to the downside, some support levels. That's going to have an impact, and it could potentially have an impact on our stuff and drag us a little bit lower. Again, what I said before is uh, when the overall markets start to roll over, we could see tugging on our commodity sector to pull us a little bit with it. Um, my strategy has always been ride through it. Buy more, buy the dips, buy things that are opportunities, and ride through it because the money's going to rotate over here. Uh, people will figure that out quite easily that the, the money is going to come, and then you're going to get a bunch of retail folk that comes FOMOing in here in a couple of years. So we're just early to this mix. Uh, the overall markets are, are heading down. Uh, I'm going to release a video, release it probably at 3 p.m. on Saturday of the overall markets to show you what I'm talking about and how it's and what it's looking like. Uh, so that's what I've got for today, guys. Give me a thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I am running at, at 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm going to be doing a question and answer session for the Platinum members on my Finding Value website channel or website. The website link is below. If you want to go to that, there's a Zoom meeting that we're going to hold and you can ask questions uh, and, and I'll answer whatever I can. Uh, I also go over a lot of companies. Uh, I go over information and data and uh, we'll go over all that stuff uh, together. And we're going to ride this bull market together, guys. It is a bull market. Uh, I know new investors, they get easily swayed by the price movements. Um, and what, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the value. The value is there, guys. It's going to be incredible. We're going to get a big bull market coming ahead of us. Uh, we're just that early. We're early to the mix. And hopefully you can ride through all this stuff, guys. Hopefully you can ride through it. And the overall markets are struggling. The overall markets are struggling. And that is as expected. We know that they're going to struggle. We know bonds are going to go down. We know that tech companies and the overall markets could, could come under pressure with the increasing interest rates, uh, and that money is going to rotate over. It just takes time. It just takes time. Uh, so be, be positive, remain resilient, and uh, have a good weekend. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.